Anthony Costa. Okay, now, before the break, you sang your new song, which is called Do You Ever Think of Me? Yeah. Did you write that? I did, yeah. Did and you? it's yeah, it's about experiences of being in a in a band and travelling the world and sort of asking your family and loved ones if they're thinking about you. Aww. Yeah, because there's a line where it says, um, in my world of make-believe, do you ever think of me? And a lot of people think that I lived a high life in limousines here and limousines there, and you know as well as I do, it's not that. You've got to work hard and that's what the song's about. And the song's out today. It How is. are you feeling? First I single, are you nervous? I'm so nervous. Um, after this, I'm off to Manchester to do a signing, so I'm really, really nervous. Yeah. Well, it's, it's funny, because you work towards a date, and that date comes <laughs> up, which is today. The record is released. Yeah. And for the next few days, you're going, uh, anybody, oh, no. uh, how's it doing? Da, 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 da. I think that'll do well. It's got a nice cushion. Yes, it Thank has, you it very has. much. Now, you but before you sort of did your solo pop career, you yeah. decided, before you released a single, you decided that you were going to go on I'm a Celebrity, Celebrity, Get Me Out of It. Was that a bit of a gamble to go on a show like that, that before time? you. Yeah. Before you, yeah. It was, and the, the producers asked me, you see, and I was a bit, mm, if I go on it, people are going to slate me and people are going to say this. And, and I said to myself, Adele sat me down one night and she said, look, just do it, babe, you know, just do it. Let people see, you know, you as a person and an individual. Yeah. And that's what I did. And, and I've had such great compliments and people coming up to me saying, it's nice to see you as a single person and not Anthony Costa, the bloke who sang All Rise With Blue. Yeah. And it's really, really nice to have that. So you feel that the show did that for you? Yeah. Got to, we got to see the real you? Real me, yeah. We got to see some, <laughs> some, some with aspect of you. <laughs> <laughs> which, I mean, they really dished you out with a couple of Oof. Bush Tucker trials, which, you know, it's like they said, we'll test the lab, we'll see what he's like. Big time. How scary was that scary-oaky, scary It was very scary. And <laughs> I, I was in two feet of mud audience, right, which you didn't see, yeah? And I couldn't move. And Ant and Deck, bless them, I love them a bit, but they're, little, you know, telling yeah. me what's on me. And I was like, boys, I don't really care, I just want to get on with it. <laughs> you know, and I... Th I thought I had the eight stars with Neil Diamond's Sweet Caroline. And as you know, being a singer, it sort of fades. You know, good times never seem so good, but now I uh, do. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, yes, I've got them. Eight stars, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. No. You've only got five stars, mate. And I was like, <laughs> gutted. And I could hear a rumble on top of the telephone More. box. And I thought, there's going to be some rolling rats coming on me now. <laughs> and I'm getting out of there. And then I found out it was 50 spiders. So you're oh, like, yeah, yeah. God. <laughs> there's a clip here of you Let in the middle see. of all of that. Knee deep in mud, apparently, right? <laughs> hands. Touching hands. Touching me. Touching you. Touching you. Get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the story, isn't it? Oh, oh, <laughs> Whoa. How, how weird is it to see yourself doing that? It's disgraceful. Did any go down the back? <laughs> yeah, everything. I mean, you just shown oh, Lucy just... singing really well on Soapstar Superstar, and I'm supposed to be a singer, and there's me singing like that, and it was like, you know, terrible. But well, you never know what they're going to ask you to do in the jungle. No, I mean, I've sung with Elton John, I've sung with Stevie Wonder, now I've but sung never with crickets and bagels. <laughs> <laughs> Crickets were a good backing group. <laughs> yeah, great. Right. It's bloody Holly said. How embarrassing was it, though, being asked to, to wear fishnet stockings with Sid Owen? Oh, that was funny. Did you yeah. like that bit? I was, loved it. Was it a giggle or were you a bit embarrassed? <laughs> I thought it was the most funniest thing because when you're in there, you are so hungry and they say, look, oh, well, you've got to do this for a treat. And you're like, yeah, just give me him, just give me him. So there's me dressing... And I knew how to put everything on and Cherie was like... You're a bit weird, isn't you? Mate? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no, no, I'm joking. I don't know how to put them on, but no, it was fun. And Bobby Ball, did you see it with the pink too? Oh, oh yeah. it was hilarious. <laughs> we expect that from him, though. <laughs> yeah. We don't expect it from no. you. But you, as you mentioned Adele. You've been uh, dating Adele Silver for more than a year. And yeah. she was the, waiting for you when you came out mm -hmm. of the jungle as well. And there's a story in the paper today saying that you and her are uh, thinking about being in the next series of Dancing on Ice. Nice. Is, is there any truth in that at all? Did oh, you read it? Yeah, I did. Unfortunately, there isn't. Um, Adele went on there last on Saturday night because she likes the show yeah. because it is a quite a fun show to yeah, watch. And it's, it's quite great. light entertainment. And, she went on it and she said, oh, it'd be great to, to do something like this. And then all of a sudden, I'm doing it and we're doing it together. But you're not. No, we're not doing it. Are you it. not a skater? Oh, no. Yeah. Not at all. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? We're going to talk about blue. Now, we know that's in the past. We've got to, yeah. It's always be part oh, of, of, yeah. of you. It's strange how the auditions seem to be the catalyst for bringing you guys together. Mm. Did, did, did you meet Duncan James at an audition, or did you go...? Yeah, the story is, Des, you're, you're sort of on the right path. I met Duncan at different auditions uh, in this business. Uh, you guys, you meet people on different circuits, and I met Duncan, and he was in a band, I was in a band, and we decided to form a band together because our bands weren't going anywhere. And we got Lee Ryan in, who I knew since he was 14 years old, and then Lee was living... Simon was living with Lee in South London, and Lee went, look, can we bring our mate Simon on board? And just come together, and that's how Blue was formed. It's unusual, because uh, you then went out and got a manager straight away, Yeah. Normally, it's the other way around. Other way around yeah. The manager goes out and looks for the kids. <laughs> I know. And puts really, a band yeah. together. Really, really strange situation. How, how, do you, how do you start looking for a manager at that stage of your career? Fair enough. The manager lived down the road from me um, in Golders Green, North West London. And he was looking for a band, and it was like, all right, well, I've got a band. Do you, do you want to get it together? And he was like, yeah, OK. And he was having talks with our record company at the time. Um, Virgin, huh. and we, we said, look, I've got a Virgin interested, and me and the boys were like, yeah, yeah, whatever, we've heard it all before. And, <laughs> and then, no, we, we gave him a chance, and then that's how Blue was formed. And, and you had such amazing uh, success, yeah. didn't you? Oh, International. Definitely. I mean, to be a part of Blue is amazing, and I will never, ever change anything. And I hope one day, boys, let's get together again, man. Well, did you mean that, that? Yeah, well. to, to because, perform again? Definitely. I mean, we've definitely got another album in us, and, and it would be great to get in the studio and have a bit of a laugh, and come on this show and have a bit of a giggle and... and well, now they're all, you, sorry, now they're all doing different, you know, their yeah. own thing. Maybe that's something they would all want to do. Hopefully. Yeah. Do you yeah. miss them when, on stage, off stage? Because obviously you're doing the circuit now on your own. How yeah. does it feel? I said it's really nerve-wracking because all eyes are on me and I feel like I'm a mastermind or something. But it's, <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> the specialised subject, subject is you. Is well, you started, way. so you left to finish. <laughs> <laughs> And you even delayed the release of your new single. Yeah. I don't know how true this is, because mm -hmm. obviously, again, it was in the papers, because Lee Ryan's uh, release date was exactly the same yeah. as you, so you've let it go a week. Is yeah. that true? It is true, yeah, because, I mean, Lee's had such good success, and it's, it was a case of David and Goliath and me Aww. being David. So I thought, no, I don't want to clash with Lee, because I don't want everyone to think, oh, Andy's trying to compete with Lee, and it's like, he's doing completely different music to me. Yeah, yeah he is. So what would you kind of feel with that? Yeah, yeah, all that soul style. And yeah. I thought, no, I want to release a week later so there's no pressure on me because if, if I failed, then everyone would be going, oh, well, you shouldn't have done it with Lee. So yeah. have an easier well, that life makes sense. Can I, can I ask this? There's four young guys, good-looking young guys out there on the road, <laughs> girls going bananas. Um, are you going to miss all, all that? I mean, you're now alone. You'll find one of the things you'll probably miss is when you go back to a hotel room, you well, you might, you'll have some mm. musos with you, you could probably turn with you, but you'll miss that kind of camaraderie, mm. won't you? Definitely. That matey thing. Definitely. And yeah. it was... I was staying in a hotel the other day up in uh, Manchester and it was so lonely. <coughs> and that was what this song's about. It's about being lonely in a hotel room and not knowing where you are and phoning your mum and dad up, asking if they're missing you and if they're thinking of you and, and things like that. Because, as I said, everyone thinks that you live the high life yeah. and it's all champagne and skittles and... Everyone's great to you, and it's just not the case, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I will miss the boys when I'm away. You, you at one time wanted to be an actor, so I've got a feeling that... Uh, Woolpack. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 we'll have to with Adele to talk to the producer. I've got a feeling that you're going to be around for a long while doing your singing. Yeah. And one day oh, we might yeah. see you start, apart from a reunion with the fellas. Definitely. Either way, it's going to be fun, what do you think? Anthony, Anthony thank, you. Yeah. thank you. Thank you. Good boy. Anthony Costa. Thank you.